to my channel divinely guided tarot if you're new here my name is angel and i'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading this message could be for all signs so please remember to take only what resonates with your particular situation leave the rest behind as always guys and thank you so much for stopping in today if you are new to this channel um we try to blend a uh, the spiritual world with the religious world right so my guide is is Jesus and uh, we always like to welcome in our messages with a prayer um, to protect over this message for you so Holy Spirit please come through help shield guard protect this portal while I channel divinely guided messages for my beautiful subscribers please help me with messages that they need to hear at this divine right time in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to pull our energy to, for tonight's reading in, with our uh, angel tarot deck here. I'm going to go ahead and take a peek and see what's going on. What does the Holy Spirit want to talk about with you today? been a long day. It's been a long week for a lot of people, I think. The energy's just been so woo woo all over the place. And we're also coming into that period of uh, time where it's like you need your air conditioner on in the middle of the day, but then you need to turn it off and you're, you know, you're huddling up under blankets and borderline turning your heat on because it's so cold like we're feeling the extremes in temperature it's messing everyone's energy up I don't know what it's like for you but I woke up this morning it was 53 degrees and I'm like oh my gosh my air conditioner is on what the heck is going on outside it's just all these extremes and that's what it feels like this week it feels like a week of extreme changes so I'm wondering what the message is we have the knight of cups this is a lot of spirituality, okay? This is a lot of growth I'm seeing. A lot of leading with the divine. This is a person who leads with God's word. They also have the support of God, okay? This is a very supported energy, very divinely protected energy. And we have the Emperor. Okay, so I'm not surprised to see you come out here, Divine Emperors. Um, Divine Masculines. This is the Angel of Wisdom card. This is an individual who figured it out. <laughs> this is an individual who woke up, has a lot of friends, a very supportive group of friends. Five or six of them. Ooh. I love it. All because of the choices that this individual made. Ooh, I love it. So we have a divine masculine reading. I'm real excited to see what the Holy Spirit wants to talk about with this energy. Somebody who has woken up to their spirituality. Somebody who can see past all of the deception. We have the six of cups on the bottom. Again. <laughs> We had the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck again with the Moon card. So, you know, you're seeing past all of the deception now. Like the enemy can't hide. You've stepped out. Six of Wands on the side here. You have stepped out, Collective. I absolutely adore this Masculine's energy. If you are holding your Divine Masculine energy, this may be your reading. Whether you are female or male. Remember, we are only reading the energy here. And there is no gender in tarot. Again, stepping out into this limelight. I see you manifesting a brand new future for yourself. Manifesting your dream come true. Okay? We're talking about divine wealth. We're talking about building a home with somebody. I don't know why that's very important, but... You have a home to build and a life to live. 
with a divine counterpart. And it's like this person's like, I'm done. I'm stepping out. I no longer care about what other people think of me. If they want to see me, may they see my good deeds. May they see how I love God. This emperor gets it. All about the divine healing. That divine love. Ooh, very well supported in the 5D. I'll have you know. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Oh, my kids uh, watched, what was it? The Land Before Time. And that character, Petrie, she's that cute little, yep, 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 energy. You know, I, I feel that on this. I don't know why. Maybe that was like a favorite childhood movie of yours. You know, Land Before Time. Look at that. Three of Cups. I see balance in this card. I see balance for this divine emperor, this masculine energy. Everything is starting to come together for this individual. Everything is starting to come together. I almost wonder if this masculine energy here understands what's happening in their life because right now I can feel that they're going through an energy shift. They're shifting through a portal. They're shifting through um, a transition that their angels are escorting them through. And the reason why this emperor may not recognize it is because it may be the very first time that they've upgraded since they've awakened. They're not used to the celebration because they only knew a life of horrific, you know, you know, bad things happening in their lives. This individual knew a very difficult life. I'm not going to lie. Did some pretty awful things too. But we're not going to talk about that because he's been forgiven. You know, when you're forgiven, it's thrown in a sea of forgetfulness with God. We see the future here. The timeline is proving true. God is celebrating this individual for this individual's choices. Beautiful energy. This is blending your past and choosing a future that God is, you know, in alignment with and the support of the divine. It's that power of three energy on this emperor. I would not be surprised if the higher font pops out. I wouldn't be surprised if a high priestess pops out as your divine lover. And there's the divine lovers. Okay. There is a huge reward coming for you, Emperor. Do you have any idea how many, how many lovely light worker energies are resonating with this message as we speak? Ladies, this may be your divine masculine. Okay? Take this message as it resonates. Put yourself in the role that this makes sense in. Okay, we're talking about somebody who is just recently spiritually awakened and is now going through their very first upgrade since they've awakened. They're all, they have no idea what's going on. Do you remember your very first upgrade? You know, I would not be surprised if this individual has been triggered in spirit to meet their divine counterpart for the very first time. So take this message as it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, do not try to force this energy. Because we are talking about a lot of feminine energies out there that are like, is this my guy? I mean, like, we've been waiting for you, Divine Masculines. Okay, we've been waiting for you. <laughs> you are so important to this mission. And I'm so happy to see you finally stepping into that power. Stepping into that authority. And treating people around you um, with complete respect. And you really do lead your people. You are starting to be a leader, a true leader. People are starting to come to you for answers on things. Yeah. Hey, Divine Masculine, can you help me figure out if this is deceptive energy or not deceptive energy? I wonder how many people you heal on a day-to-day -day basis just by encouraging people to look beyond the lies that are being fed to them, spoon-fed to them, the angels are telling me, okay? 
So what everybody has been trapped in a matrix believing, you are awakening people to look beyond that. You have successfully helped people see the truth. Do you know how a beautiful that energy is whenever you can um, help lift the veil for somebody else to be able to see? And all it required was the testimony of your life. Somebody asking you, um, what's this all about? What are you doing? How are you doing it? <coughs> you are a powerful manifester. My gosh, it's just like, like your words are just popping to life. Like everything that you're saying is starting to come true. Everything that you're saying is starting to become a prediction. And you just re masculine energies here. You just were rewarded with an introduction in spirit to your twin flame or your soulmate or this divine counterpart. It's a divine love. It's an ordained love. You've been prepared for this love. Yeah. You manifested it. You brought it forward. Your efforts, your good deeds are starting to come back to you. And the universe is answering your call. Okay? You put a signal out into the ethers. Okay? You don't realize that you sent a beacon out, a signal out. But you are now honing in on your your soul is trying to hone in on its divine counterpart this individual this masculine energy here you don't want to be alone anymore this masculine energy doesn't want to be separated from divine love any longer they want happily ever after believe it or not they do they want the sippy sappy rom-com kind of of love you know they don't care about what people think about them anymore all they care about is being happy and sharing this beautiful life with you and supporting you. This individual, this emperor can thank their friends and family for awakening them. Okay? And look who, look who the uh, divine counterpart is. Queen of Pentacles. Isn't she beautiful there? Supporting herself. Maybe a single parent, maybe a person who supports like an actual parent, like a supports an elder parent. This could be an individual that is just supporting uh, foster children, maybe. This individual has responsibilities. This individual um, is needed. Now, a uh, quick message about this Queen of Pentacles. She has spent her entire life being needed, but she does not know what it feels like to actually need somebody. So Divine Feminines, if that is you, this is your energy here. This is your reading then, okay? Divine Masculines, if this is your energy, okay, and this is your feminine here, just go at the pace that God tells you to go because she's going to need a lot of patience in order to align with. She's been alone for too long. She's been self-sufficient. She hasn't need anybody. She really doesn't need anybody. She needs no one. This is that same feminine energy that I picked up here recently with our um, Cinderella reading, I believe. She's powerful. She's... She's focused on love as well, but she's very guarded because she's not going to let an imposter or a snake into the Garden of Eden. She, it's like this woman protects the keys to the Garden of Eden, okay? She guards this divine love, this wealthy life. The, the, she guards the dreams of this emperor. She's the gatekeeper, He's the key master, okay? <laughs> Put it into some movie references for you. We'll go a little Ghostbusters, but guys, this is beautiful. I don't know if you realize how special this masculine energy really is. He's beautiful, by the way, like inside and out. Like he's his personality makes him beautiful. 
He's charming, but not in an obnoxious kind of way. He's funny, but he's also sweet and kind and considerate. Like, he pays attention. Like, he's a watcher. Like, he, he stares. Like, he'll notice everything. You know who notices stuff like this guy? Everybody that works in a maintenance or technical field, they notice all the fine details, you know? This guy um, is interesting, interesting. Holy Spirit, please reveal what the future timeline looks for this Queen of Pentacles and this Emperor here. This rewarding relationship, this beautiful love that's blossoming here of this... <laughs> The justice card comes out. This was ordained. Yeah. Now, justice and the eight of cups popping out together. This is letting me know that, again, your enemies are regretting ever coming up against you. Both you and divine masculine and divine feminines. This is your ordained partner. If you have suffered hardship, your divine counterpart is mirroring that same thing. Their life has also seen struggle. When you two unite, it is going to bring about karmic justice to all enemies of both of you combined. It'll be like the ultimate curse breaking of all time. Because I feel like through the centuries, your bloodline, your families, uh, your ancestral uh, gene pool, has been attacked. You come from a line of divine beings, okay? Chosen ones. A line of them. And they all somehow failed along the way. Every single one of them had failed. You were selected to champion good old Satine down here. You're taking what was meant for your bad and turning it in to your good. Look at that. This is justice. From darkness comes light. From death to life. Justice for all involved. Ooh. How about we go ahead and put good old Satine over here face down on the shelf. That's where he belongs, right there on that scripture. Yes, justice for all. Justice for all. One more final outcome. Future. Ooh, power. You guys are being, you're going to be labeled a power couple. People are going to notice you. People are going to know you all over you may actually start a platform together as a husband and wife team. You know, they're giving me like Chip and Johanna vibes, like those interior decorators. Hmm. Interesting. This guy may be a carpenter. <laughs> yeah, that sun card tried to pop out there. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune tried to pop out too. There we go. Emperor. And you know what's funny is the sun card tried to pop out, the wheel of fortune tried to pop out, and it followed up with the emperor. This energy, this emperor is coming in hot. I feel like he wants to say something. What is it you want to say, emperor? He's, he's real. I feel like this is more of a message from this divine emperor to you divine feminines. It's starting to feel that way. Now that we know who this emperor is, I want to know exactly what the message is that he has for you. Because I think maybe he wants to say something. Or at least God wants to say something about it. So Holy Spirit, please provide me with what this emperor wishes to say to my divine angels out there. Oh, the enemy keeps trying to come out, you guys. Satine tried to pop out on the bottom here. And if he comes out again, we'll put him on the shelf again. Twin Flames will not be attacked on this channel. 
No, we are divinely protected here on Divinely Guided Tarot. <laughs> it is prayed over daily. I pray over my own readings and my own third eye. Then I may see clearly without having deception woven. You know, I pray, I pray warfare prayers. So that way I can give you accuracy, give you the message only God wants. Things that are going to help you complete cycles of healing in life and help move you into something that you truly want to see. That's, that's the goal here. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, give us a little bit more. What exactly does this emperor want to say? Oh, he says, I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming in hot. You can't stop me from making my way to you now. I know who you are. I know who you are now. I've seen you. I have a connection to you now. You made a psychic connective tie to me in the 5D. I now have access to you because you invited me in. And not in a creepy way. But this guy now knows you. This guy has been looking for you everywhere. That's what he's telling me. I have been looking for you everywhere. And I have been waiting by this fishing pole for years. And then finally, I got a little bite. I got a little nibble on that line. And he like sprang up to attention. Finally! <laughs> you know? They're, they're playing that song, uh, Fishing in the Dark. You and me going fishing in the dark. Yeah. This is a definitely a guy who can appreciate um, some fly fishing. He can he, he probably bass fishes. He probably trout. I see rainbow rainbow trout. You know. Um, so we're talking about somebody who really enjoys these outdoor activities. But he has been looking for you everywhere, trying to find you, knowing that it's a possibility that you may try to reach out to him. I believe that he knows what twin flames are. I believe he knows what soulmates are. I believe he knows what the spirituality is because it came out here with the Knight of Cups. That's a cup full of spirituality. So he's awakened. Okay. This is an individual who you connected with. Your soul answered their soul's call in spirit. You had a psychic connection to this individual and it was very quick. It was very fast, but you made a connection. He now has connection to you. He's going to be able to talk to you a little bit more clearly now. So when you're ready, Divine Feminines, he's saying, do not be alarmed at how hot I'm coming in, you know. I, I've been waiting a long time. I've been looking for you everywhere. I don't want to miss this opportunity to know you and become friends with you and, you know, see what you're all about. I've been curious about you my whole life kind of energy. This masculine is beautiful. What beautiful energy. And he's coming at you the right way. If you're going to be hungry and ambitious... He's not doing it in any way that is inappropriate. He's, pr he's trying to bring abundance into your life. He's, try he's trying to let you know that I've manifested you into my life every bit as much as you manifested me. He's aware of how powerful you are to be able to answer his call. You know, he lured you in. When really he doesn't realize that you set this up long before that. <laughs> you were praying for him before he even awoke. You know, so um, you healing yourself, Divine Feminine, is what woke this gentleman up. And your prayers for your future husband, that's what woke him up. But let him think that because in a way, it's very, very true. Oh, he has all the right intentions for you. He, it's making me blush. He's just so cute. And I don't mean to say like cute, like, oh, like he's a sissy or something. But, you know, this is, again, Eight of Cups coming back out again. This is reminding you that your enemies cannot touch you. They can't go beyond that barrier any longer. It's like God erected a divine barrier 
to prevent you and your divine counterpart from ever coming across old enemies ever again. And I say old enemies because this energy is not able to touch you on this energetic level. So it's like the enemy needed to advance. Look at that. Three of cups coming out again. He wants to celebrate with you. He wants to ask you. He, he's hiding in a community that you are a part of, like an online community, like on a social media platform. He's a part of the same community as you, Divine Feminine. And I feel like that's how he's going to be introduced to you. There's going to be um, a friendship that blossoms. There's going to be a lot of innocent communication kind of bouncing back and forth. There's going to be some feelers, I think, that are going to be placed out there by this masculine energy. But it's all being done in the right way. You know, he has a goal in mind, too. He wants divine love. He wants to celebrate. He wants you to be the third party not the third party but you know what i mean he wants you to be that third cup he puts god first and then there's his cup and your cup and he wants all of you to be combined together i also see this as like a divine marriage card sometimes especially when it's coming as a message from a masculine to a feminine like a like this is what's on this masculine's heart he wants to go into union with you. This is a card of union for me. Um, because I see it as holy matrimony. Oh, it's beautiful. Because the two of cups, yeah, that's divine love. But that reminds me of like a courtship card, you know, like a betrothal, you know. But this is the celebration. And that's coming out twice. There's so much joy and there's so much happiness. Oh my gosh. It's just pumping out of this emperor's chest like golden sunbeams, you know? I mean, look at how hard this masculine has worked. He says, I've been looking for you everywhere. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. He's been trying everything to reach you. I'm wondering if he even realizes that you're probably hiding right under his nose and he doesn't realize it. Mm, I wonder what group you are a part of that you are receiving. <laughs> Twin flame indeed. Look at that empress coming out. Who's hiding in your collective? Your divine counterpart. Look at that three again. Three, three, three celebrations all around that queen of pentacles that nurturing wealthy hard working individual who's very supportive man the emperor is coming after right bringing her an ace of pentacles he's bringing even more abundance to her plate celebrating with her sharing what he want sharing everything that he has with this feminine. Because he sees her as that twin. That divine counterpart. Oh my gosh. Who is this emperor? Oh. Sir, if this is you, I don't know who this masculine energy resonates with. Um, I feel like a lot of feminines in this collective, this is going to feel like you are masculine. Like who you've connected with in the 5D. Divine emperors and masculines in this collective. If this is you, I hope you identify yourself because I want to congratulate you and just tell you how awesome you are. You're doing everything right. You're attacking this situation correctly. The first thing out of your mouth is, I've been looking for you everywhere. Not, hey baby, can you send me a pic? You know, I mean, like you're coming at this all the right way. Now it's time to take it to that next step. And I feel like that's what he's trying to say here. Um, what's the closing message that this emperor wants to share? 
No. Yeah. He says, I want to support you in every way possible. I want to be your sword and shield. I stand on the truth, the word of God. I want a supportive woman at my side. I want to guard your abundance. I want to be your sword and shield and protect what you have built so hard, like so long. It took you so long to build this yourself, divine feminines. And this gentleman right here wants to protect that for you. So whatever this feminine is doing to produce income, I feel like it's a job, a business. Something this feminine is doing that is providing abundance in her life and in others' lives. And this masculine energy doesn't want to control her. He wants to support her and protect her wishes, her dreams. Because his dream was only ever to be with that goddess energy, that princess energy, that, that divine feminine. You know? He's not one to sit proud on a throne and have people worship him. He would rather worship his lady and God, you know, good energy, good masculine energy. I love that. Every female wants to see that. I know it. I know it. Every female wants that balance in their life. Angels protecting you over this union, over this journey. Like I said, God is celebrating with you. Three of cups, three of cups, empress. There's three, three, three. You have divine support, emperors. You understand what's happening in your life. You are spiritually awakened. Final message, final message. I want one more. I'm sorry, I can't stop. This masculine energy, is his, his energy is intoxicating. Like... I've never seen a man so put together. <laughs> it's kind of refreshing in a way, is it not, ladies? Oh my gosh. Yes. A tower to close this message means that this is just coming in fast. Old foundations are crumbling. New foundations are starting. And that is between this divine couple. Oh, sudden sudden change this sudden realization that we are destined for each other i cannot wait to see who awakens to who you are first right now you know this person in spirit you've had telepathic communications with them already i would even go so far as to say that once upon a time you saw this person's face in a vision from like years ago and you are now being triggered into remembering that, oh my gosh, I think I've been aware of this person my whole life, but I didn't put two and two together until just now. Oh, I love it. I love it, you guys. I love it. There's so much surprise in store for you because you're going to be coming into this period of aha awakening moments like, oh my gosh. This is what that's meant the entire time. And you're like, oh, like every day is going to be a new awakened surprise for you. Okay. So I want to go ahead and close off with some scripture here for this divine couple. Divine feminines, if you resonate with this message and this is your emperor, these messages are for you. Emperors, divine masculines in this message. Um, if you resonate as the emperor here. These are also for you. These are for this beautiful couple coming together. Holy Spirit, please provide. Please provide. There's one, two more, please. One, two. They're smaller. They're still hard to shuffle. <laughs> but that's okay because they're fun. I like the scripture cards. I was thinking about making actual kits just like this and it'd be a higher price tag if I were to ever sell them because it's so time consuming but worth it especially with the velcro there's no more damage on these and they're just so awesome so 
I'm thinking about it. Don't know yet. Let me know what you think. The first one for you is, I will be well-balanced, vigilant, and cautious at all times. For that enemy of mine, the devil, roams around like a lion, roaring and seeking someone to seize upon and devour. And that's 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. And yeah, the enemy creeps around looking for cracks to come in. And what do we do with the enemy? Resist the devil and he will flee. On this channel, if you are new here, we put good old Satin. And yes, I know I say his name incorrectly and it's on purpose. God has instructed me to deny the enemy his name, even though I know it. The enemy knows I know his name and I still deny it. It's part of my instructions, but good old Lucifer here cannot come out on this channel without being put face down on scripture. We call that the shelf over there. When you're a naughty boy, you go on the shelf. So there he goes. And this is scripture to back it up. The reason we do that on this channel is because of this scripture. Because the enemy will use any excuse, any crack. You leave a crack in your spirit, the enemy comes in and starts playing with you. Like a dog and a rag doll, you know? You are, the, you are no longer the enemy's chew toy. You have evolved into this powerful being. Repel that darkness from ever coming towards you in Jesus' name. Next one for you is, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And that's from Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. And is that not what the mission is all about? To not hold offense against people, to not lead with anger or jealousy or rage or vengeance or take those natural human emotions that we have and act upon them. You were made for something better. You were made to love and you were made to be loved. You were made a child of God. That's the message here. And this, this, both of you, this applies to both of you divine feminines and divine masculines and I love how we have a viewer sponsored scripture here very last one for you is a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you you will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked psalm chapter 91 verse 7 through 8 this is saying that all children of God, all chosen ones, will not suffer, but will be made to see the punishment of others. If, um, I don't know if, I don't know, we, we just read on this, you guys. <laughs> and um, you are going to be made to see witness to the destruction of your enemy. Just try not to look into their karma too deeply or get too curious about it. Just know that it's happening around you and try to move on because I'm sorry, um, this lady's gonna need every ounce of attention that you can spare for her masculine. She needs a hero larger than life, okay? And she she's gonna choose you. I'm just, I'm just saying, she's going to choose you because he's coming in the right way. He's coming in larger than life, okay? This is the divine pair that we have been waiting for, the power couple that we have been waiting for. And I can't wait to see what you both do out in this collective. So guys, if this message resonated with you, um, I wish the best for you. I pray protection and blessings over you and your future bloodline as well. Because yes, you are going to be setting up a divine legacy and a family bloodline of chosen ones. So congratulations again if this is you. I can't wait for... Um, you to confirm that you've met this person. So wherever you are in the world, guys, just take care of yourselves and God bless you all.